Thank you, Megan. Um, and hello to everyone and thank you. And I welcome you to the opening ceremony of Interport 2021, which is the 13th annual meeting of the International Society for Porous Media. I'm Laura Pyrak Nolte. I'm the current president of Interpore, and I want to thank all the participants and presenters for attending our second virtual symposium. In addition, at this time, I'd also like to thank, on behalf of the executive committee, the organizers, the program committee, the newsletter team, social media, task force, and a host of volunteers who helped shape this conference. Now, at this time in the meeting, this is when we present the annual update on the International Society for Porous Media. And so today I'll give you an update on our membership, national chapters, a new activity, which is the Interpor Academy of Porous Medium, the Interpor Foundation, and three new awards supported through the foundation. So let's first start with Interpor membership. Interpor has 49 institutional members. Institutional members are groups which consist of up to 35 members from an institution that are included in an umbrella membership. Currently, 15% of our institutional memberships are from industry, 23% from research institutes or national labs, and 62% from universities. In terms of total membership, we see that our membership has grown from 102 at the founding of Interpore in 2009 to currently we have 2,200 members. So we thank you for, some more, for your support of our community. One thing that has aided in this continued growth of Interpor is the formation of national chapters. Currently, Interpor has 14, 15 national chapters, which act as forums for people from a country or specific region to get together to form uh, networks and groups among your local industries, academic members, and government institutions. And so it's a way for you to enact and interact on different topics related to porous media and have local meetings that are of relevance to your area. Currently, we have five new chapters forming, Austria, Denmark, Greece, Israel, and Japan. If you're interested in forming a chapter in your region or country, just feel free to reach out to us and we'll provide you with the relevant information. We're happy to announce that during 2020, a new activity of Interpore was the establishment of the Interpore Academy of Porous Media. The mission of this academy is to promote Interpore educational and training activities related to porous media. This includes short courses, webinars, there's thematic workshops, and there's the Young Academy activities. So far within this first year, since this was only established in January or February of 2020, they've already held four short courses, two webinars, and there have been 40 talks organized by Porous Media Tea Time Talks by the Young Academy. Now, what is this Young Academy? Well, during the pandemic, a group of young early career scientists recognized the challenge of being able to communicate and have scientific discussions without the benefit of in-person uh, conferences and workshops where you usually meet your colleagues. So they developed what they called the Porous Media Tea Time Talks, which was a, a venue for young scientists and graduate students to present their research results and discuss them with colleagues from around the globe. We're pleased to announce that the Porous Media Tea Times Talks have agreed to formally join what we're calling the Young Academy as part of the Interpore uh, Academy of Porous Media. It's co-chaired by Marcel Moreau, Catherine Spurin, and Mohamed Noripour. If you're interested in seeing the lectures from the Porous Media Tea Time Talks or attending new ones or participating, please use the link which we're showing in the lower right-hand corner of the slide. Other events that are coming up through the Interpore Academy of Porous Media are four short courses that are gonna be in June through fall and winter. There's one uh, related to open foam, others on free flow coupling, pore mechanics, geomechanics and geostimulation. There will be a webinar giving a guided virtual tour to the experimental facilities of the Core Shearer Institute. 
the Young Academy is going to have a, a special Chorus Media Tea Time Talk uh, hosted by the Norwegian chapter on June 15th. And in autumn, at some point, there will be a workshop on the challenge of unresolved porosity. In order to attend these talks, please visit the uh, Academy website, which is given in the lower right-hand corner of the slide. If you have ideas for lecturers or topics or some new activity related to education and porous media, please reach out to the executive assistant whose email address is given in the lower left-hand corner of the slide. So next, we're going to provide you an update on the Interpor Foundation. This is the Foundation for Porous Media and Technology. It's a nonprofit, non-governmental independent organization that was founded in 2016 and is chaired by Stefan Berg. They're celebrating their fifth year of educational support and outreach. And for this conference alone, they had 50 conference grants to enable young researchers and outstanding scientists to attend. Interpor Foundation is funded through donations and donations can be given at any time during your registration or the year or membership renewal. So what is the mission of the foundation? Well, they have several goals as part of their mission. And the first is to promote, promote and support innovative research by increasing the dialogue between public and private scientific communities. They want to help facilitate the participation of young scientists into international scientific gatherings. And they also want to support outstanding young scientists from countries with financial difficulties so they can join Interpor activities, which can include attending conferences as well as the short courses uh, that are available through the academy. And finally, their last is to seek funding for targeted awards for recognizing excellence in the broad field of porous media research. Now, as part of the seeking funding for targeted awards, they're pleased to announce in 2020 the establishment of three new awards. The first one is the Interpor Medal for Porous Media Research. This is for research with, with established careers and it's in recognition of their outstanding research that they've done in the past 10 years. The second new award is the Interpor Award for Porous Media Research. And for this case, it's for mid-career researchers, which means up to 12 years after the PhD. And the focus is on the research that they've done in the last five years. And finally, with the publisher MDPI Energies, they're supporting a student poster award and this will be given to two students in recognition of an outstanding poster presentation at the annual Interpor conference. So please keep these awards in mind and look for announcements when it's time to nominate your colleagues uh, and feel uh, free to submit nominations. Now the Interpor Foundation would like to do more as we're slowly coming out of the pandemic here. Eventually we're going to have conferences in person so in addition to supporting uh, conference grants, they would like to support travel costs for outstanding scientists from countries with financial difficulties. Currently, they receive many more applications than we can support. And so at this time, once again, we're telling you that the foundation needs your support in the form of donations. You can use the link at the bottom to donate, and it's important to support our colleagues as there's a lot of uh, interesting research that needs to be done with a broad range of people from around the globe to address many challenging issues. If you'd like additional information on anything that I've shown in this opening ceremony, you can visit Interpor booths through the exhibitor feature in the Whova app. We have a booth related to the Interpor Society, the Interpor Academy, the Foundation, national chapters, and also one related to Interpor 2022, which next year will be in Qingdao. So at this point, 